have always, you know, pulled on my pants, put on my shirt, good to go. And that's just not the case for everyone. A recent UT graduate noticed people living with disabilities didn't have a lot of fashion choices, so she is creating her own adaptive clothing line. And 10 News reporter Shannon Smith explains how that designer is using her own health struggles to shape her style. Mary Kate and Brakefield has always wanted to go into fashion. My mom taught me how to sew when I was like six years old and have loved it ever since. The former UT swimmer learned that fashion has another side when she joined a student athlete leadership group on campus. Through that, I got to meet a couple really awesome Paralympians um, and just talk with them about what it's like getting dressed in the morning. Brakefield realized adaptive fashion is needed for the thousands of Americans living with disabilities. In the general population, we all have very different bodies anyways. And then when you include disability or illness, or injury, anything like that, the needs for fashion change. Things like closures. She said buttons and zippers are hard for some people and Velcro and magnets work better. Things need to come in different lengths, like this dress. How could someone who is almost six feet tall like myself and someone with dwarfism wear the same dress? So there were buttons on that dress that there's tiers in the skirt and you can button on or off the tiers depending on your height. Brakefield was diagnosed with a genetic mutation last spring. She spent some time in a wheelchair and said that experience is impacting her designs. As much as I talk to people, as much research as I do, there's still things that you don't think about until you're living it. She just wants people living with setbacks to feel both function and fashion in their clothing. Shannon Smith, 10 News. And with help from her mom, that designer is hoping to have pieces on the market within the next year.